2020. Hi, everybody, and welcome. This is Visible Lady of Faith coming to you with an overview of the Sunday School lesson entitled Responsive Love for Sunday, November the 22nd, 2020. Um, unless I talk about this, the political atmosphere of today, it's kind of unbelievable how many people uh, see things differently and say one thing and do something else and are being deceitful and lack integrity is to me it's like overwhelmingly um, disappointing so um, I don't know it's like who can you trust it's like how come people can't see that and I have to understand that there are different mentalities you know, I talked about a while ago or several months ago about the stair steps, about the mental health. Uh, some people are at the top of the stairs that have um, an acceptable mental health. And there are others that are down at the bottom step that have, let me see, a questionable mental health. I don't know. It's just so, time to keep praying and to keep the faith and don't lose hope. I just say, I just want you to listen to the content, see if you can relate to the content. And just being myself. How we react to something or to someone is our response. Let me say that again. How we react to something or someone is our response. Our response can be verbal, emotional, or physical. If someone says something that we don't like or perceive as negative, our attitude or mood can be impacted negatively. Our choice of words and tone influence how others respond to us. What we say or how we say it can have a positive or negative effect, effect on those we interact with, as well as ourselves. We should not put a stumbling block in anyone's way that may cause them to lose faith or hope. Just like today, the early church in Jerusalem had problems. Some of our problems, as well as theirs, resulted from the actions of selfish leaders, indifferent leaders, and leaders who lacked integrity. The church was united and devoted to faith and did what was right, showing love through their service to others. They shared financial resources with those who needed it. The apostles hopefully made sure that those that needed financial assistance or otherwise received it. The story of Ananias and Sapphire is an example for us not to be so attached to money or material possessions that we deceive others and are dishonest. Their lie about giving all they had from the sale of their property was dishonest because they said they gave all when they didn't. They could have said that they were only giving some of the money instead of wanting Peter to think or believe that they had given it all. If Ananias and Sapphire gave all, what would they have to live on? I don't understand how Ananias and Sapphire lied to the Holy Spirit. Some say that Ananias and Sapphire were deceitful because they wanted people to think something that was not true. Did Peter know that Sapphire was going to give him the same answer as Ananias? Was it a trick question? If we got instant judgment for our sins, it might not be many people left on earth. Our words and attitudes can interfere with our communication because we may project an image we don't mean to. What we say can elicit positive emotional responses that can give us confidence that we did something right. What we say can have a lasting impact 
on those we interact with. The community of believers under the guidance of the apostles were unified in their effort to help those in need. This effort reflected sincerity of faith and sacrifice by those willing to do the right thing. I can't imagine how amazing they felt knowing that they were doing something out of love and generosity that made a difference in people's lives. Just being myself.